Morning, everybody. Morning, Hugh. Good evening, Atsy. Good morning, Allie. Have a nice time, uh, mucking your puppy. Hey, we'll see you when you get back. Sorry if I look like the living dead. Um, we're in the middle of a pressure shift of a boat. 20 degrees here. So, yay! Yeah, I tell you it would be. It's fun. Let me just get my erg. Yeah, sorry. Let me just quickly plant my garden and then I will show you. Just so I get the double uh, growth cycle. Which, as I learned during somebody's stream, because uh, I've been trying to pop into more streams, just to hang out, really. Um, someone was like, is it really worth watering before 6 a.m. when I just need to water again? And the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Good afternoon, Emma B. And yeah, the reason being is even though it's a little bit arduous to have to water twice. Uh, it does mean that you're getting uh, two days worth of growth. Well, that being said, like the lazy tiny dragon and your garden is weeded and watered. You don't need to worry about watering. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. Oh, there we go. Or rather, I just have stuff to do. <laughs> I'd rather not spend my time watering my garden.
Yeah, this this music. Sorry, this music is not first first thing in the morning music. I'm so sorry. Or I guess so many of you, it's not morning. So, so maybe you're down for the. I call it my slipstream playlist. Okay, there we go. The garden has been dealt with. Hop over to the market. Now the glass, the glass roof isn't complete. I only had enough energy in me to do like a small proof of concept, which is this. And it's, as you can see, still needs some work, but it does look cool. At least I think it's going to look cool. We still have some height issues, but the idea is that we're going to be making a hexagon. Also, hey, Harold. Good afternoon. Also, part of it is that currently it is not very switch friendly, so I'd like to see if we can make it switch friendly. But the initial mechanism of it is actually really cool. Because yeah, I have a chest over here. Let's get some buggos. We need pillars, we need crates. I already have a rug set up right here. Yeah, using our our rug trick, we are able to snuggle on in. Our our bug containers, <clears throat> sorry, our bug containers close on next to one another. Shoot, I need to move that guy. Oh, hey. Good time zone behind the lash. Let's get a shout out. Cause, Cause I'm doing that now. You're welcome, I'm I'm so sorry for missing your stream. <laughs> I I was totally planning on going and then I and then I totally 
just like face planted. But yeah, for anybody who has not checked out Behind the Lash, she is absolutely delightful. Uh, unlike myself, uh, she is a variety streamer. So if you want to wet your whistle watching other games, instead of just fixating on one, like I do, yeah, and check her out. <laughs> Good morning, my lady. But yeah, sorry for also sorry for waiting for like the last day, um, to post on your birthday card. I was trying to wrangle in my boyfriend to take that picture, but. It, it just his work schedule and then I kept on forgetting anytime he was home and then finally just the stars aligned and then I was just like hey you come over here well yeah it was supposed to be a surprise <laughs> I greatly appreciate your moderator so much who sent like periodic reminders so my adhd my, my tiny dragon brain was just like son of a bitch I gotta get that done so i'm so thankful i think her, her username is princess some princess cat maybe Does that sound right? All right, enjoy your birthday breakfast and happy birthday again. Okay. And many more. Sorry, my, my voice is absolutely terrible right now. Otherwise I would I would sing for you. Much love, darling. Nice. Right, I haven't been like mentioning. I do, yeah, right. But oh, biscuits! I I forgot that I turned it off because it was, it was a bit too. Thank you. I appreciate you, Harold. Uh, let's just uh, hold, please. Let's just go on a journey through the algorithm. Yeah. 
There we go. That's a bit nicer. That's a bit more chill. Oh, good. And I appreciate the question because I did totally just like forget or get distracted. So, yeah, that was I forgot to totally like mention what I was doing so people could like follow along. Nah, it's okay. The method is not in any way perfected yet. So in actuality, not really sure people should be following along at this point. Because it's still in the experimental stage. Because up until this point right here, it's perfectly fine for Switch players. But then after here is where it gets dicey. Um, one second. I was wondering what I... Knocked onto the floor and I was just like, oh, it was my vape. Um, because from here, the only way that I could get the angle that I was kind of shooting for was to... Obstacle flick them into place. Sorry. So we might just try a different angle. Because in all actuality, I'm not even sure that I like that angle. And I put them up here so they explode just a little bit.
Oh, this would be so much easier if we just had heckin' glass. Uh, please sign Tiny Dragon's petition to get Essex to add in a glass item, or glass building blocks. Um, how do I, um, I went to architecture school, for one, uh, it's not, not like, um, university, I went to college, so that might have something to do with it. And beyond that, uh, I draw inspiration from like places I've been. So th um, this construction that I'm working on at the moment uh kind of takes inspiration from uh, a Chinese cultural center that's in downtown Calgary. But unfortunately, the center of it is a massive glass ceiling. And, yeah, that, that's kind of what I would really recommend is, like, if you're stuck for designs, it, it's kind of the, the same as, like, when you're stuck on an art project. If you're, if you're stuck and lacking inspiration, Go out into the real world and and see different things. Take inspiration from that. Beyond that, it is there is some measure of like creative problem solving that does come into the equation. But that's just a learned skill. Anyone can learn creative problem solving. You just kind of have to um, shift how you think about things. Which creative problem solving is basic, is exactly what it sounds like. Is it? Um, it's just uh, like problem solving, but instead of doing things the normal way you approach it from more creative methods. I think that, I hope that made sense. Which, yeah, is 90% of the reason why I I, actually, not 90, wholly the reason why I started my YouTube channel and my, my Twitch stream is so I could teach people how to use different, uh, different glitches. Uh, 
because the more knowledge that you have under your belt, the easier the problem solving can be. Morning, Marie. How goes the day, dear? I swear to Rao, come on. Dash, get out of the way. That one just does not want to go. But why? Oh, jeez. Thank you, Marie, for the, um, sorry, the, the repeated subscription. Oh, my gosh. Could be that I'm not hitting the bowl at the right angle. It's going already Monday at work. Mm, I'm sorry. But thank you for joining us while you're at work. Hopefully we can, hopefully, oh, yeah. Hopefully we can make the workday a little bit more bearable. And give you some fun things to try when you're finished with work. Oh, which I for I totally um Oh Emma, sorry, I missed what I missed what you um you mentioned um about being on Switch. Um everything I'm doing right now uh can be done on Switch. Just as a note. Um, so I, I haven't, I haven't done any, any cancel placing or, uh, I haven't done any flicking yet, but I, I don't plan to. That's kind of my goal is to figure out how to do it without flicking. Um, and then this bumping right here is switch friendly
it's just being on Switch does make things a little bit harder. But still doable. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah, I like to uh, try my best to be as inclusive as I can. Um, so basically, anytime you see me use a, a group select trick, so when I uh, at the very beginning, when I was group selecting with that rug, uh, you can do that on Switch. And it's very useful, actually. So, which I'll actually show you how to make this, this setup right here. So all you, all you need to do with this... Is this is a tool I, I, I use all the time. And the only reason why I have the rug flipped up um, is just for, for ease of use. And, and same with this, actually. Here, I'll just take that off. So what I have here is a industrial wall shelf and a small wood crate. And I just put the crate on the industrial wall shelf. I put the capital chic shelf on the crate and then I flip it up. Also, morning midnight. And then I flip it so the capital chic shelf is facing towards the sky. And then we put our pillar. I like to use one of the metallic ones just because they're really flat. And then we just need to find there we go. There's a sweet spot. Where the, where the, um, and sorry, let me check it. Because I, I do it with the grid turned off. But, yeah. So you are going to want to turn your grid off, which I believe is your ZR on Switch. On PC, it's just your, your Z key. And then that's how I make that little doohickey. And then we just attach this pillar to the shelf. Then we just rotate it 90 degrees. And then we take our floor. And I can't remember, we might need to, nope, yep. And it'll just attach to our pillar. The rug shouldn't get in the way. That makes our little flag thing. And this has a variety of different uses. Uh, most notably, you can use it to merge items into one another. But you do need to be careful because if this pillar comes in contact with this up top, or sorry, not the pillar, but the, the floor. So that's why you need to be careful. So if the floor comes in contact. Also, good morning, techno. That's perfectly fine. If you run into that, it 
the reason why I have it like this is just for like ease of hitting that doormat. But if you're making it, making something that you want to like fully put it inside of there, you can just flip your floor up on top. And then that, I think this solves it. I can't remember. Yeah, there you go. I'm doing okay. I kind of feel like my head is in a vice. We're having a pressure change. Meaning, uh, here we call it, I mean, I'm sure they call it a Chinook in many places. But yes. Yeah. So it basically means that we're, uh, it was minus five last night. And so basically my body was revolting against me last night and I was, you know, because I'm a guy and when, when we're in pain, we're, we're little babies. And so Tiger came into the bedroom and I was like, I was just on the bed and, and he's like so concerned and he's just like, what's wrong? And I'm just like, everything is wrong. Everything hurts. And he's just like, explain. Sorry, remember that I'm in Canada. So that's minus five degrees Celsius. So um, I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's the one nice thing about when when it gets to it's the singular nice thing about when it gets to minus forty here, is that it doesn't matter if I'm talking about Fahrenheit or Celsius because that's when they made up. Uh, yeah. Is that minus 40? Uh, I don't like living in Calgary. But it's better than Edmonton. Sorry if anybody watching lives in Edmonton. But it is mildly better. At least we get Chinooks here. Which, as, as much pain as they are, um, they're a, a slight reprieve from the cold. Uh, so it's why people who, who live in this area say that... Uh, Winters around here are are mild, and uh, they're not wrong, but I think the more uh, accurate statement would be that they're turbulent. So yeah. Because it's like, Mother Nature, what, what, what are you giving me today? Seventeen degrees. Mm. Minus eight. Oh, my God. Ma'am. Oh, hey, K-Fear Scene. 
Welcome, welcome. Oh, okay, you're in... Oh, Midnight, you are in Canada. Okay. Also, Kathir Scene. I did not know that you were the one that did the the tutorial for... Sorry, let me... Let me get this shout out. Because I... I I need to... This is this is my goal to do more slash shout out. Is this gonna work? It's gonna be hit or miss. Yay, it worked. Sweet. Um for those that are unaware, K Fear scene, um did the tutorial for um, Underground Building. Yeah. Which I, I was blissfully ignorant, or blissfully, I was very ignorant of until our, our beloved Kit Kat sent it to me. But it's now archived if anybody would like to check it out on unofficial Palia housing. And you're also welcome. The cave. I'm confused. Oh. Nice. Does cave it... Did Kathir scene make a make a cave? Is that a plot tour in invite? Oh, cool. Is it up on the plot? I I am so um Everybody knows what needs to happen before I do anything because of my social anxiety. I'm like a vampire. I, I will not go to someone's plot unless they invite me. Tour border otherwise. Like a tiny vampire. <laughs> but if anybody wants to go check it out, apparently there is a cave. Well, yeah, because people won't go, because vampire, or I mean, de actually, I mean, depending on the lore, but I mean, depending, uh, depending on the lore, vampires won't go inside the uh, person's house unless invited inside. So, yeah, tiny vampire. It's not on the board this week. Oh, we're done. I, too, made... At the behest of, I mean, I mean, it not the, uh, the behest is the wrong word. Just people kept on making comments about it, so I, I threw this ramshackle thing together. I'm sure yours is probably. I keep coming past this and wanting to take it apart. <laughs> Because I think I can do better. Where's the rock? Because there's supposed to be a rock at the entrance so people can get inside. 
Hold please. Tiny rock. Is that rock number one? That is rock number one. Because for those that don't know, rock number one, depending on how you place it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you have no idea how much I deliberated over that opening before I finally got something that was semi-passable. Hmm. Maybe, maybe two rocks. The construction of it is up on YouTube, if anybody's interested. It's it's in the the Halloween uh VOD that I I finally got around to posting yesterday. Sorry. Also thank you for the compliment. <laughs> There we go. It might be one of those projects I just keep adding to until it looks looks okay. But it was definitely an interesting challenge to like, um, because like all of, like all the mountain or like hill work that I, I do, it's kind of hard to see, but they're made out of building blocks. Or not like the the structural elements are made out of building blocks. To like save on money. Um What the heck happened there? Some biscuits. Lots of scenery on the tour board, but just basic stacking. Oh. <laughs> Which I guess I could put the, the hill if people wanted to. Do people want to check out the hill in person? Because I, I can put it up on the tour board. I, I've i just stopped caring about the tour board. If I'm per perfectly honest. Well, 
when I have something to share again, I will care, but I, I just, I don't have the energy to deal with it. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll put the hill up so people can, can run around. Oh wait, but before I do I should I should make some bushes. So people can so people can run through some bushes. Which for those that haven't seen it yet, that is the most recent tutorial. which is platform syncing. Mm, we don't need. Oh, Techno, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work on the first go. Ha! So see, this is what I meant. If anybody has watched the platform syncing tutorial, this is what I meant when I said that this can be temperamental. So if you watch, on occasion, it'll when you group select, it'll grab it over to the center here. I have no idea as to why. It might have something to do with the like order <sighs> yeah let's try going in the ground and up here yeah just sometimes it's random, randomly it. Now granted, you can still do the trick. If, if it selects it via that. It's just less easy. And remember that we need to do this setup here. Move those two. And yeah, it's, it's not behaving. So we can just Grab it and just place it to the side of the floor.
Remember that you can group select things from Arial, and that's not, or it shouldn't be just on PC. Also, I, th I think I've missed some things in chat, sorry. <laughs> Got a little bit. a little bit hyper fixated. But I hope you feel better soon, Techno. Ah, so After placing this yard work terrace piece on top of your pillars, and then flipping this terrace piece upside down, we're going to group select via the terrace piece. And then that'll allow us to place our pillars on that terrace piece. Then you can remove that guy. Flip it back around. It's all good. No need to be sorry for the real life hair. And we're going to group select a large terrace by a floor. That'll allow us to place our terrace on our pillars. At this point, you can start placing your trees. And remember, if you want to get it closer to the edge, you just need to turn off your grid. And then you're done. And there we go. All right, Tiny Hill is on the plot tour board if anybody wants to come run around it. It shall be done. Although now I'm uh, mildly uh, what, what what word am I looking for here? Uh, mildly self-conscious that I I have not decorated the inside of the cave.
Because you know every tiny dragon needs a tiny horde of stuff. Where is Uh, what are the trunks that I was placing down? Like these guys? Um, they're the Fisher's Treasure Chest. Um, and then these guys over here are the Pirate Treasure Chest. Yeah. Yeah, so this, um... This one comes from fishing metals. And then this one comes from the RNG Wheel of Sadness. And Disappointment. Yeah. But this one, yeah, you can just get by, you know, fishing and then going and seeing our favorite gulder down by the um down by the docks and then you can you can get that but um these ones come from the decor bags sorry
but I'm now I had this chat with um a friend and I mentioned to her that you know my hoard would not be complete without you know things that personally I found to be treasured. So like mm, the Ravenwood floor deco. Definitely one of them. Our original stackable, or yeah, our original stackables. So it's part of the reason why I have the treasure chests in there, and then of course the the barrels. Not I'm sure. Classic. Homestead and forest. So yeah, there was one once upon a time that we had very limited choices. Do I have any industrial wall decors? I do.
Oh, that's a fog. Thank you very much. I don't know about perfect, but I appreciate it. They had to muck with barrels, didn't they? F6. Why do you do this to me? Why F6? Of all the items to... Hey, good morning, carrot cake. How goes it? Also, cave your scene, enjoy your fishing break. Actually, it sounds kind of nice. Perhaps after our rapid decorating thing here. We might, uh, Sorry, gosh darn it. Take inspiration from your idea. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, biscuits. Also, if anybody has not followed Carrot Cake, son of a biscuit. <laughs> she is absolutely lovely. Let's see if this works. Son of a bit. Oh, I did. I should have backwards. Fail. Ross. <laughs> I should have known when. Yay! Ah. <laughs> I... You're welcome, darling. Also, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, she's super sweet, super fun. If you check her out, you will not be disappointed. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, carrot cake. If you enjoy the, the cave build, uh, I posted the VOD from last week on YouTube and uh, I have chapters on it. They're not the best chapters, mind you, um, but I do mark where I like start building the cave. So it kind of helps when, you know, sifting through the eight hours of footage.
É... Ah, você tem que... Bem, antes... Once I've finished, as I mentioned. Um, also, if you want to take a look at it in person, I did. And this is part of the reason why I, I'm kind of rushed decorating it, right? Decorating the cave uh, is that I, I put it up on the tour board for people to come see and then got like super self-conscious that this part was not decorated. Um, so yeah. Sorry that the title of the stream is building a, gla a new glass ceiling. That is, that is what I was doing. And what I, what I will do once this is done. <laughs> that was the plan for today. And still is. <laughs> Gotta rein the ADHD choppers in. Am I out of the... Okay, I'm out of the large gold. <clears throat> and of course the large gold has to, has to be so expensive. Oh, I think I've... Kind of... Recovered... A bit. Uh, <laughs> yes, Hugh, that is the carrot cake. I'm actually kind of surprised that I, I didn't go full anxiety floof. Hey, it's progress. Listen, shush. Normally when, when people that have a much larger following than mine come into this channel, um, I, like, completely freeze up. I, like, didn't even realize that, like, the Fleurs popped into the channel um because her di her twitch name is is different and and she popped in uh to the stream for a bit and like said hi and i was just saying hi and i didn't realize that it was like the flurries and i it wasn't until i was like Look at watching one of her YouTube videos, and I was just like, "Wait, hold it! Why does that spelling look familiar?" And so I had like a uh, anxiety attack after the fact, and I was just like, "Oh God!" No, she probably will never come back. That's eh, okay. Uh, <laughs> ah. 
It was nice of her to come that one time, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, which actually, now, since Winter Lights is coming up so, so soon, I'd love to try and see if this one trick works. Chances are it doesn't, but you know, let's see. Because I haven't attempted it in a very, very, very long time. And the reason why I mentioned the Winter Lights Festival is that it involves one of the recipes that you uh, we got last year in the uh, Winter Lights Ball Ornament. I did this a very, very, very long time ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hugh, and, and uh, just wait until you see what I'm about to do with it. You won't be calling that for very long. But also, sure, otherwise known as the doorknob. Sure. Uh, lock cabin, industri industrial, here we go. Oh my god, my brain, can you, can you please brain? I, I think I've, oh right, all of my industrial shelves were used for something. Don't worry about it. Just ignore the what was going on there. Let's just say there there was a question that somebody had, and I I I helped. I or I tried to help anyway. Okay, so. Uh... You can get this to go on here. Uh, let's just go like that. Oh, did they change it? I think they did. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Remember how I said that this, it's been a while, it's been a hot minute since I did this? Yeah. It has been a hot, because it has been a hot minute. And the secondary trick to this was that you placed a winter lights red present and remember that we are waiting for the winter lights festival for it so it's okay because that is the secondary thing that is important for this uh want to say 600 gold you can look at um the power uh, uh, here we go 
has the winter lights store there we go winter lights red present oh hey i was wrong i love it when i'm wrong i genuinely do uh so winter, winter lights red present so all the all the presents were 400 gold each now that being said whether or not whether or not they stay that way, God only knows. Oh, sorry, I guess God and S six only know. Is the only way to the flip the pergola with the red present? Are we referring to the spring fever pergola? If you're on PC, yes. Or sorry, if you're on Switch. If you're on Switch, yes. If you're on PC, no. If you're on PC, then you can flick it. And then, you know, have fun. Oh, excellent. And I also love when I'm wrong as well. The, the snow were not as expensive as the leaf piles. Um, they were 1,000 gold each. Again, no idea if that's going to stay the same. And then the Winterlight's charcuterie boards, which are very cute. Um, sorry, let me, I will hop to your, uh, your question there, uh, Marie, in just a hot second. Um, let me just pop over to my ghost plot. It's also one of my many storage plots. Just so I can show people the charcuterie board, because it's super cute. Winter light charcuterie. It is hecking adorable. So, would highly recommend stocking up on those. I really, really hope that they give us all of the same or uh, I, I really hope they give us or give players that weren't there for the first one the chance to get the recipes from the first one. I really hope. But at the same time, I hope they, they give us players that were there. I hope there's new content for us. I realize that's a bit of a tall order. I understand that. I know I'm asking for a lot. I just, I'm, what can I say? I want it all. <laughs> I want everybody to be happy. Is that so much to ask? Uh, okay. I'm actually kind of curious about something that we can definitely try. Um... Well, that's interesting. Right. Because that's something that I 
I conceptualized while making the platform syncing video was that you could use the yard work terrace pieces to uh, sync the spring fever pergola. Um, so in the same vein, you can, you should be able to flip it with the terrace pieces. I'm sure I already have a shelf set up somewhere here. Yeah. Yeah, so you just need to find, like, the right spot on the terrace piece. And then you can, then you can flip it upside down. Oh, I guess I should have asked, like, what, what, like, what are you trying to achieve per se? What's, what's the, what's the goal here? Is yeah, that that's that's one way. Ah, okay, so you want to... Okay, so that, that also should be theoretically possible. Oh, maybe... Strong maybe. Oh, actually... Mm. much much it's much more easy doing it on its side Uh, 
Um, one sec. Con conceptualizing something. <laughs> Sorry, my, my my brain is only running at about like forty percent. Forty. <sighs> my I I won't mention what what my my, my brain is not at its maximum capacity today. Sugar. Okay, that's not half bad. Oh my god, again? Uh. Well, I mean, the patch notes did say that they only fixed Bahari. There was no mention of them fixing Kilima. Just as a as a note. Also, you're welcome, Murray. I kind of I, I pointed that out to my friend circle and they were just like, hey, Mr. Wet Blanket. And I was just like, I know, I know, I'll be happy, I'll be happy for what did get fixed. But I'm just saying, is all. <laughs> a little bit, it does look a little bit violent. Mm, it r reminds me a little bit of uh, uh. Oh no, Harold, you you didn't miss a patch. I I was referring to uh. Um. I think. Sorry. <clears throat> I <clears throat> just got really cold all of a sudden. <laughs> um. Um, uh, I was referring to zero point uh, one eight five, I believe, where they uh, mentioned fixing like missing assets in in Bahari, specifically Bahari. Yeah. I guess that this should work. Yeah. What?
Really, Essex? You're going to do me like that? Oh, no. Okay. It went inside the Hecking Crescent. They, they really don't want us to use the ornaments anymore, eh? Like, they, they disabled all of the nodes for the trees. And, and the snow. What if we bump it? <sighs> Which, yeah, for those that haven't tried to decorate your Christmas tree yet, uh, don't bother. As a note? You cannot decorate your Christmas tree. If you already have a decorated Christmas tree, I'm very happy for you. Genuinely, I'm happy for your happiness. <laughs> you know, for any of us who took down our Christmas trees last year. We're kind of SOL. Uh, Merry Christmas from Essex. Which, I, sorry for how negative that sounded. I literally do find it funny. That's all. Um, because like a few patches ago, the the snow was having an issue, and their solution was to just remove all the nodes.
and just like destroy the system. It just does not want to go. I wonder if we place the one. Wait, I have an idea. It's a little bit crazy, but it might work. Well, I did say it, would, it might work. Ah, uh, say Dimash. All right, sorry, switch players. Oops. <laughs> that was a misclick. Mm. 
Mal kurz mal. It really does not want me to do this anymore. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Because what do we always say? It's not a matter of if I'm going to get my way. It's a matter of when S6 stops telling me that it's impossible.
Yeah, I think that's enough. Pearls. Pearls, darling. It's a string of pearls. It'll look more like it when it's attached to the treasure chest. At least I think so. Hmm. It's not as good as the last time I did this, but it's significantly harder now. <laughs> Oh, Harold, unless you're, you were asking about what item I was attaching. Sorry. Um, I was attaching the Winterlight's Ball Ornament. Sorry. He misunderstood.
which, sorry fam, I haven't checked in in a hot minute to see if anybody had any questions. Everyone's been pretty quiet today. So is it this Monday? So. I'm I'm glad you think so there Allie I was a little bit worried that it it wouldn't be very stimulating I was kind of trying to do this as fast as I could so we could get back to working on that roof prototype that I promised I kind of, the ADHD trap is, took me out at the ankles, as per usual. Oh, nice. Congrats on that. Um, Ali mentioned, uh, for anyone watching this VOD in the future, Ali just mentioned that she did very well in a Halloween, or sorry, very well. In my mind, fairly well. <laughs> Immediately is very well. Um, in a Halloween competition, IRL. So, massive congratulations. What? No. I guess it was only a matter of time.
Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. It was only a matter of time before they... They fixed this. <sighs> okay. Well... We can add that to the the glitching graveyard, everyone. Say la vie and all that. Uh, it just means I need to make more retractions. No. Well, I mean, sorry, you can still like float them like with solo float and with duo float by all means. Just no anchorless floating. I'm um, sorry, correction. You can still like float them with like the the group select anchorless floating by all means. Just they've made it much more difficult. So so you can't you can't just like wholesale Place it wherever you would like. So. They are not the powerhouse they used to be. Is what I'm getting at here. So basically I'm wondering what exactly the purpose of the, the decorations are now. Um, if we don't have a node system anymore. And you can only place, so you can place them on the floor. You can place them, okay, you can place them on stackable items. So it's just a stackable item, that's, that's a plus side. Yeah, you can still float fences with them, but that's also take take that as you will. Thank oh sorry, with the winter lights red present. I don't think or sorry, I, I highly doubt you can do it outside of the the plot boundary. The only way to get fences outside of the plot boundary is to use the terrain pieces. So glad I didn't make any content on that.
Sorry for the saltiness, everybody. There's just so much stuff for S6 to fix. <laughs> and they keep fixing stuff nobody asks them to. So, you know, basically, use the tree sink while you can. Um, I mean, yeah. You just do a float with an anchor. Depending on how high you want them. It all really comes down to like where you're placing them. Like if, if they're outside or inside. Like if they're outside, I would suggest maybe using like a, a paper to do your, to use as, a, as an anchor because you can easily hide it with like a flower bush. Or a, or a tree, even. Oh, given, uh, given me an aneurysm today, a six. I finally got it. There we go. The paper RNG. The paper RNG. You want it just above head height? Okay, so that's not that's not too high. Since it's a tabletop item, it's you can do is just like stack up the gourmet butcher blocks. So it's at the right height. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that stack and we are going 
to go to the side. And we're going to do like a sideways float. Okay, so you're doing it inside of a greenhouse. I mean, a paver could still work because it's a, it's a bumper, so you could just like put it under a piece of furniture. But I mean, as well, you could also do like another favorite bumper or the um, favorite anchor of mine for tabletop items, of course, is the structural dessert plate. Again, it can it acts as a bumper. So, um, yeah. So you can you can put it under things. But yeah. So what we are going to do, as I mentioned. Uh, and this is a little bit easier if we just for spacing purposes. We're not going to use it too much after this, but just because the butcher blocks are a weird shape, I like to put a pillar on top because it has a nice crosshairs if we group select the pillar. And so we're just going to take it from the center point of one square to the center point of the square next to it. And now we're going to press a number key that has a decor item on it. Um, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. I, I had one on four. Now we aren't going to do the pillar because we don't want that. We're just going to do the top butcher block. And you can just move it and then place it back down on the top of the stack. And now you, you can group select the stack again and move it back to where it was. And that's going to toss it out over into the next bit. From here, we can place our pillar so we have that nice crosshairs again. Right, we are going to have the something is in the way message. Just oh right, I'm a yutz because we're using the dessert plate. So just move it to this square over here into the center. I'm adorable. Remember, not at a hundred percent today. And then we're just going to place it. So our butcher block is hovering just above our dessert plate. So now what we can do is take our dessert plate and go directly from the ground up onto the butcher block. And this is going to do, oh, sorry, then we press number four where our Homestead Amphora is. That preps it for floating. At this point, we can add our candle, which I think, if I remember correctly, because of the hip box of the candle, let me see if we can add a few of them just to maximize the usage of our dessert plate. That's another thing about using a paver over a dessert plate is you can add like a few to the paver. I think I went past, yeah, I went past the spooky. Yeah, if you hit the edge of the dessert plate. Yeah. 
Why don't we do we have two on? This is fine, it's still better than one. It's a little bit higher. Of course, you can add more height to your float assembly, but I think you get the I hope you get the idea. Clear as mud. Actually, because you're welcome. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's the US six, I'm not taking no for an answer. That's a bit bad. Apologies, everyone. It's just been a day.
Okay. Uh, if uh, if no one has any other uh, any other questions at the moment, uh, I think I'm gonna take uh, a short break. Um, just to uh, have some food and stretch. I strongly recommend that anyone who hasn't yet today do the same. I uh, remember, no matter what your bosses tell you, breaks are definitely productive. All right, let me wake up the AFK otter. Son of the gun was still lounging in bed.
Oh, all right, I'm back. Oh, hope everybody had a good breather. Nothing else than just from myself. I think I might be decorated enough for now. Ah, oh, sorry everybody, I've been so off my game today. <clears throat> Because we can turn it around. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I said to myself that today was going to be a good day. Thank you, Harold. Oh, I should add that in. Yesterday was a good day. I think that's something I'm going to try and do every single day, is just find the good thing. Or good things that happen every day. Like yesterday, I found an emerald. A star quality one. So I now have two. Finally. Though that still bugs me, that it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is just the garnet model, but in green. Uh. I was so happy to get a, an emerald finally. 
so happy. And I placed it, and I was just like, hold the sec, hold, hold the front door. It's just a heckin' garnet. In green. Six. Every other, I'm pretty sure every other one has at least some minor difference. And I'll, and I'll show you how you can make your emerald have a minor difference. So it looks different. And it's really easy, believe it or not. Oh, uh, wait, I've got two. Right. I think, I don't know if you need two shells, you may only need one. I, think just, I was looking for a treasure chest. Duh. Would you like this? Oh, wait. I'll be in storage. This case. That's okay. We'll grab an ancient one. Yeah, all you need to do is rotate. Yeah, we do need to get a second square, second chest involved. Or second shelf dirt. Let's see if we can. Um, Be, mind you, it's not going to be perfect, but we can get pretty close. In there. It now looks different. And all it had to and all you had to do was make it sitting so it's square. Not you know diamond. That's all. Now, I mean, it does look a little bit like the quartz, but, you know, I'd rather have it look a little bit like the quartz than like the garnet and sugar. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. Uh, 
I think all my gems are in left, so. Uh, actually not entirely. Because if you m notice, the uh, this model comes into points. Uh, whereas the, the quartz has um, eight sides. So it's slightly different. Slightly. <laughs> Which is good enough for me. Oh wait, hold it. I I think you were right and I was wrong. Apparently it's the other way around. And I'm yachts. Okay. Apparently I should have done a closer side by side analysis. It helps to have more than one. Hmm. Nope. Never mind. They still are the same. But the quartz is a different model. There might be a minute size difference, but the, the quartz is definitely bigger. My singular ruby. Thank you for clarifying. I actually didn't. Uh, yeah, I also don't look at this plot. This stuff happens. Hey, Widget. Lovely to see you. We were just talking about my tiny rage. About Garnet and Emerald being the same model, more or less. I'm I'm doing okay. I'm getting uh I'm getting roundhouse kicked by the the weather here. To be perfectly honest. <clears throat> so I I uh I'm trying my best to make it through. But it's a it's a journey. Right. It's the one that we can't move. 
Um, I'm trying to think of the palette. Um, I think this should be actually in my inventory in according to the palette. Oh, my brain is not. Oh, that sucks. Lots the internet. Well, at least hopefully you have it back now. Uh, shade wise. Let's see if I can go. Here it is. So train up there, and then aquamarine, sapphire. Onyx. Oh my gosh. Sir, do you mind? And then we'll put amethyst the way over here. And then quartz. Yeah, I think that's as good as. I don't know, come do plot tours. I mean, I, I could. Does anybody have a, have an invite they want to? I go after the, the dragon vampire. <laughs> as, as we mentioned earlier in the stream. Uh, meaning that my social anxiety had an issue with going to people's plots unless I'm directly invited. For anyone that was confused about the the dragon vampire comment. It's not a bad thought. That just does mean that I would have to be decisive about whose plot to go to. Because uh, I'm so known for my decisiveness. I need a manager.
As I always mention to people, Emma, the important thing is whether or not you like it. Because if you like your plot, then without even looking at it, I already like it. Whether or not you think it's dull or not is relevant to me. It's whether or not you like what you've made. I think I think RuPaul says it best. How in the hell are you gonna love somebody else if you can't love yourself? And that extends to designing. Because how in the hell are you gonna like something else if you can't like what you you've made? So I really just swore twice. Sorry. Depending on your views. And that's perfectly fair. As I mentioned to people a lot, it took many, many iterations of my most my, my most done plot before it was in a state that I was comfortable with sharing people sharing with people and when I say iterations I mean like I broke it down to the foundation blocks and built it back up so I definitely get liking something but not loving it Uh, sorry everybody, I hate to do this again, uh, but I am going to have to leave over with the AFK otter for a hot second. I just need to run to the little dragon's room. Um, if anybody has a question that's been, uh, you know, burning a hole in their pocket, you know, save it for when I get back if you don't mind.
Oh, jeez, we have a bunch. Oh, getting stuck on this freaking solution. Because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, my goal is to keep it as friendly as possible. Or, rather, entirely switch friendly, if I can. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, maybe. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, let's get this. Ah, uh, I am. I'm doing okay. I know that wasn't very convincing. Um, but. I haven't been feeling the best today. Oh, uh, also, hey, Bash. Also, yes. At least, that's the plan, is to make... make a homemade... magi... gazebo-type... shrine-type deal. I'm getting stuck on the roof, as per usual. Yeah, we also uh, have a Chinook coming through um, my area. So, we have a pressure change, or um, a temperature change of about 20 degrees. So, I am also <laughs> have that to contend with, and it's, uh, I wish the world would just make up its mind, uh, is it cold or is it, is it warm? They're both, they're both options that I could learn to live with. But, um, what do I do with my phone? I think currently in the climbing process, it's at... Hold, please. Uh, it's at 3 degrees Celsius. Um, which, let me grab that converter again, C2, F, so 3 degrees is 37.4. Uh, and then last night it was 23. Um, so I wonder...
because I've been talking in Celsius for that temperature change. Hold, please. But yeah, so we'll go from 23 to 59 in the span of two days. So 36 degree temperature change for Fahrenheit, for my Fahrenheit friends. Um, and what happens to, uh, uh, it's like few of us, like, can only imagine it's Mother Nature, uh, having a, having a laugh is that when pressure changes happen like this, you feel it everywhere. In, in your joints, in your head. Um, so if I seem a little bit off today, that's why. The funnest ones are when it uh, it goes from mm, uh, minus 40 and then jumps all the way to um, plus 5. That's, a, that, that's an 81 degree temperature shift. Needless to say, if, if one of those happens, I don't know if people will see me for a few days. <laughs> I love everybody, not that much. It's those are painful. Uh. But you just have to laugh at them. Ah, uh, because otherwise they'll go crazy. But yeah, how's the adventure going, Bash, by the way? You don't need to give any details for everyone. You can just, like, go to bad. Or nothing at all, if you if you'd rather. I've just been meaning to message you for, you know, days, like a, like a do. And while you're here. Okay. Sounds good. That's good.
sugar. Um, the concept is a hexagon shaped roof, but we'll we'll see if it actually works. Because the sorry um the original idea that I had sorry it might be just be easier to show you the that I have so far. So that is the idea. I was mostly looking for a, a more efficient way of doing the butterfly construction while still having that kind of wow factor. Um, sorry, just need a minute. <clears throat> Uh, the entirety of the construction is based off of the Chinese Cultural Center in Calgary, at least conceptually wise. You can only get so close to something that's in, <laughs> that's a real building, in Balia. Um, but there are several things in that that piece that I, I remember very vividly in that one of them being um, just all of this light coming in from from above. So I'm trying to encapsulate kind of what we did for the, the greenhouse. But as you can see, we are having a time. <laughs> Part of me is kind of wondering if it's because I decided to do it on pillars and pillars are literally like the worst building block. Full stop. They're very pretty, but like versatility wise, they are the worst building block to use. Their their usage begins and ends with they're pretty. Sounds good. You too, darling.
but yeah, I won't go into my rant about how S6 took the time to make all of the metallic building blocks have collision because they were outside the normal functionality with the rest of the building blocks. And yet, they did not fix any of the other issues that the building blocks have. And have not fixed. So... Yeah, if I sound salty, that's why. Because they're very, very choosy about what they fix. Because they have their dream for what Pallia should be. Or, sorry, was it dream or their vision of what Pallia should be? I don't know. The entire statement makes me roll my eyes. Um, because it smacks in the face the countless hours that I've put into this game and people like me. I'm just like, wow, the brass pair on these people. Okay. So. Maybe we just make it flat and not curve it at all. That might be the best option. Sadly. Let's see how it goes. But I might need to get more buggos. Uh, who's ready for the magic market tomorrow? Can't even say that with any excitement. I'm sorry. Is anyone excited for the magic market? It's okay if you are. Truly. I will not make fun of you or think less of you. Yeah. That's the general consensus, sadly. Is that... 
genuinely mean it though. If anyone is excited, please speak up. Because I will be excited with you. Just so I can be happy for your happiness. That sounds silly, but that's enough for me, honestly. Yeah. That seems to be the general consensus, is that it was more fun when it was a longer so you didn't have to squeeze all your farming into one week. And B. Also, when, when it was, you know, when it was no. So, you know, because they haven't added anything new. They've kind of, you know, KO'd themselves. In my, you know, tiny opinion. I was hoping that they, you know, knock it out of the park with the The storyline update and the winter lights update as well because I honestly figure um feel like that's that might be their last their last chances for player retention maybe I could be wrong I remember have known to be wrong many times before. That's okay. In fact, I love it when I'm wrong. Absolutely love it. Don't ask me why. No idea. Maybe it's because erring on the side of nihilism. That way, pleasantly surprised. This looks like a frame. Is that something?
that's for good. It's twisted. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll be back in about a second. Okay. All right, let's try and do something, God forbid, simple, maybe. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Maybe. Oh, okay, we might be getting somewhere, finally.
Let's see if we can get some kind of proof of concept on it first. I've wasted so much time this stream. No, I just don't feel bad. work. Yeah, I mean, are we even at half a, oh, I guess we are at half a day. Almost there. Oh, that, that would be nice. I've been been saving my um my cactus morius like you like you told me to. We're going to flip it. Oh, we need more height. Yes, we're going to turn it into rocks. Dairy. need to stack it. Not yet. Um, rotate it first. That's a good spot. And then the same thing again. Okay. 
and Switch players and PC players should both be able to do that. Keep continuing around and build up your stacks. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I, um, I just, I don't feel well. So I think I'm going to call it today. I'm so sorry. Uh, hopefully I'll see everybody on Wednesday. I feel really bad for having to cancel or cancel the rest of the stream. I just... I won't, I won't mention what I, what I feel like right now, because it's, it's kind of gross. Uh, um, sorry. Um, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, I hopefully will be right out in Bushy Tail on Wednesday. Um, uh, because, you know, by then the temperature change will be in full swing and I should be, I should be okay. Uh, normally when we go, when we go back, I'm, I'm not as bad as um, when we go, when we go up for some reason. It's always the first one <laughs> that hits me the hardest. Um, but let's see who is streaming. So, uh, that's not the pitch action. <laughs> I, I could, I, there we go. Pick the raid button, sir. Hmm, lovely. Finally got to raid, raid Lexi back, so I guess, uh, thank, thank goodness for, for that. That's, that's nice. Um... Okay, I was worried there for a second because it said that like only one person was watching her, but apparently it's just broken right now. So yeah. Excellent. And she she does a, a bit of everything in in Palia, but especially today it looks like she's decorating. So wonderful. Um and yeah, before I let everyone go. Just a tiny reminder that I have been your guys' tiny dragon. The most titanic dreams. Hoping that you, wherever you are in the world, keep your dreams just as big. Sorry again for having to <laughs> uh, leave the stream early, but hopefully it's for the best. Alright, let's get this raid underway, my dears. Much love.